So here we are a few days after I've installed the new water filtration system and uh, we're going to go check the spin filter now because that's the first filter in line and we're going to see how dirty it is. I suspect it's going to be pretty dirty because the filter before used to block up every couple of months and uh, what I've done now also to protect these pipes I put some brickwork along there and I'm going to fill it with more uh, sharp sand and I'm going to put some some pebbles down there and that's just to protect the pipes so the brickworks come level with these pipes but I think the, as you remember a huge huge improvement to what it was and we're going to get some more topsoil and bring this level so it's all level to the top of the brickwork same as here we're going to get some more topsoil and just bring it around here and make it a little bit more presentable but as you can see looks pretty full to me so what we're going to do is is turn it off empty it and then i'm going to clean the filter and we're going to go see what it's like i have to do this every looks like we're gonna have to do this every week So as you can see, pretty much clogged up. So we're going to give it a, a wash out in the sink. Just to clean out. So that's it all nice and clean now and uh, okay for another week so we'll just pop it back on just nip it up okay then turn the system back on give it a little there we go system all back full again so what else have I been doing this week I've been doing quite a few things actually this week so one of the things that I've done and this is we have a little 12 volt fan there and that is run by this little panel solar panel and that goes straight into our bathroom and as long as the sun shines it's been blowing the air out from the bathroom so it's sort of it's a expel air fan but it is a 12 volt fan and it just works off that little solar panel and it's been doing that now for about a year and a half so I'm very very pleased with it now I had an 80 watt um, car radiator fan on there but the wife said it was too noisy so I've turned it off and uh, we've just run in that one now, which which is good enough. And also, I've got two 80 watt solar panels that used to run the fans, but were too noisy, so the wife asked me to to stop them. So now I had to think of myself, what can I do with two 80 watt panels? So first of all, I put that one up there. So this is just an experiment, and uh, I've run run the pipe work going into the into the electrics for now and this goes into the, to the main switch and then it goes into the to the power and what I've done what I've done this for is because it works on the grid tie inverter in other words there's no batteries required and the 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 panels are 80 watts so it just trickle feeds into our into our house and with the grid tie inverter if the power goes off the external power grid from the grid then the inverter stops as well so it, it will never ever send electricity back onto the grid if the grid goes off now it's, it's only 80 watts so let's say it gives 50 watts 50 watts with the grid tie inverter um, for maybe five or six hours a day five fives at 25 so it's 250 watts it gives off not a lot is it but at the end of the day, if it's enough to run the fridge for 
five or six hours a day it all adds up doesn't it well our electricity bill is only only seven or eight hundred baht a month anyway so i'm not asking for it to make a, a fortune type of thing every little bit counts and them two 80 watt panels were just stuck in the in the cupboard so i'm making the best use of them so another little play around this is the other 80 watt panel that i've got and i bought this off lazada now it's a charge controller and a in thousand watt inverter and two isolation switches one for the electrics which is powered from the inverter and you put your solar panel into there it's got a 12 watt output and these two cables run down to the battery so it's only a cheap system but all i want this for is to be a backup so if the power goes out i'll have a battery backup and that will supply me wi-fi my tv and a fan if required so we're going to get a 100 amp battery and that will be the battery backup type of thing and so we're going to use this as a as a temporary fix until i get get something more sorted out for the electricity as a battery backup so i'm going to get a buy a different inverter and remember i used to have this when i had the big solar panel and it's going to go through the the um the electrics which goes in there which is then going to go into the house and uh, i'm going to wire up some some circuits so it's just for just for the tv and the wi-fi and uh, a fan in the bedroom and by doing that that gives us emergency backup we don't want it to to last forever you know a 100 amp battery will supply the two fans that we've got for like six or seven hours which is more than more than what probably we required for if the electricity goes out it's very rare that it goes out for that amount of time so as you can see i'm still playing around and um i'm playing around with what i've got and i enjoy doing it and it's good fun and it keeps me occupied so leave your comments down below if anybody's got any other suggestions or fixes or ideas please feel free to enlighten me and and send some details so from les retired and living the dream till the next video bye for now